Hey guys, Dave here. Uh, I started a new character and I thought, well, let's go over some of the stuff that needs to be done when you originally start. Because there's a lot of things that you can do that'll save you a lot of time in the end. And I thought we'd go over some of that. So the first thing you can see is I now have my rewards. Okay, so I got some skill points here. So we're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna follow the instructions on the screen to open the menu. We're gonna claim my rewards. Yay, we got some food. All right, so. On the right hand side you'll see future rewards that we're going to get and we'll go over some of that uh, as they come up. All right, so I got two attribute points. Uh, I know that this character is going to be stamina based. So everything that I will put in will probably go into stamina. So I'm going to put both of these into stamina here. All right, and this gives us our character skills. Okay, so how are we going to set up our character skills? Okay. Well, what we're gonna do is we wanna get one of each of these on this bar, in our primary bar, okay? So we have three points. So the ones that are active, we're gonna go ahead and do this, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and purchase this one, and it's gonna put it in the bar automatically. Now, if you don't like it in that position, you can always change it by hitting X, and then select where you wanna put it. Now, you can't put it in the last one because that's for your ultimate. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and leave that there where it is. Now the next one we're gonna do is, we're gonna purchase this one. Okay, automatically put it in the bar for us. And the last one, we're gonna purchase this also, so this automatically puts it in the bar. Okay, by leaving them in the bar, every time you level up, they level up, okay? So they level up faster. Once we get to level 15, we're gonna have two bars. So we want our, our weapons, our abilities that we're gonna use primarily in the primary bar until they're leveled up to level 50. Because if you put them on the back bar, what's gonna happen is it's going to, it levels up slower than the front bar. Because usually you're, you're fighting off of the front bar. Okay, so that's what we got first. Now we do also have soul magic here. So we're gonna go ahead and put the soul trap ability also up there because it gives us another weapon. So we're gonna hit X, put it on whichever one you want. I'm gonna go ahead and put mine here. All right, so we place those up there. Okay, so now we're ready to go. So the first thing that I do every time I create a new character is we need to get to the way shrine. Get to the closest way shrine. Takes a couple seconds. Luckily, it's not too far. Now, it doesn't matter where you come out. If you come out in Elsewhere, if you're gonna come out in Graymore, it doesn't matter. You just get to the closest way shrine that you can get to. And you go here. Now, most people right now will start questing. See this guy over here? He's ready for a quest. Uh, and now Zine. He's ready to start a quest. I kind of skipped that. Okay, questing is important. I like to quest also. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do something else first. Oh, a book. There's a book. Looks like it's blue too. That's part of the Mage's Guild, I believe. I think that's blue. I can't tell. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get to the Way Shrine. Okay, and then we're going to zoom in to the closest big city in that region and we're going to get there okay we want to get there so we're going to hit this one going to go straight to the rim and way shrine all right we've come to northern elsewhere so what i want to do is i want to get to my home faction and since i'm eben faction it's over here i want to get to this one here okay Devon's Watch. Now, if you don't have, uh, if your way shrine doesn't show up here where you want to go, but I believe all the home factions have their way shrines, so it's not a big deal because if you are here, there's um, not Aldermid, yeah, no, that's not Aldermid Demir, that is uh, Daggerfall, sorry, Covenant. Okay, there's Rothgar, there's already a way shrine there. Okay, so there are some way shrines already done. Bleak Rock Isle, there's Vardenfell. Now, I'm gonna use the Vardenfell quite often because that's where I like to do my crafting is in Vardenfell because everything's really close by. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to Stone Falls, but I'm gonna show you a way to do that so you can just get around the map in general without having to use the way shrines at the very beginning. All right, so we're gonna come over here to this guy. I did a full tutorial on that. Uh, if you look for it in my channel, you'll see it. There's a guy right over here, this guy. 
So if I talk to him, we make roads he tells me he can take me to all these places. Okay, so three places. These are the these are the capitals of each faction. Okay, so Evanhart Pact, that's where I'm going to go. But you can go to Wayrest and the Daggerfall or Elden Root for the Alder, um, Outermere Dominion. So Elden Root's very busy. There's lots of people. All these are very busy re areas. But we're going to go to Mournhold because I want to get to mine. You are the All right, so we've now arrived to where we're supposed to be, uh, where I want to be. So if we come back to this guy over here, I think it was him. Let me see. Let me the manifest sure. is full. Walk with the three. Yeah, okay. So if we come back to this guy later on, we can hit the other two capitals, and that way it, we can get around a little bit faster. Because once you get to the capital, you can travel around in the region by doing just what we just did. It might be slightly different. Now, once you get to where you're going, you're going to run into this hooded figure. You want to talk to her. She's actually very important, Greetings. Uh, especially if you're a new system. character. If you're repeating, uh, you don't really have to do it. You already got your own idea. But if you pick her up, she's going to send you on a quest line where you get lots and lots of skill points to start out. Plus, you level up the character decently quickly up to like the first seven levels. I don't have a horse yet. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I, I, I do have horses already. Uh, I don't believe you get a horse until you're level 10 or 15. I can't remember. I'll put it on the screen. So I'm going to go under inventory uh, collections. Actually, you know what? I think I run faster than my horse anyways right now. All right, so we're going to run over here. We're going to find the way shrine. Okay, I'm going to look on my map one more time. I know where it is, okay? It's like the little two window button. There's the way shrine right there. Okay, I want to get there. Because we want to we want to get as many way shrines as possible. They actually give us a lot of experience in the very first part of the game. Because we're going to be running right back to where we started from because we want to get to other places. All right, we're almost there. All right, we're at the way shrine. Now we save, we've got the way shrine. So I'm gonna run back, but I'm not gonna put you through it. So next time you'll see me, I'll already be there. All right, so I am back now at the, um, the port. Okay, there are many people here that can take you different places. So this guy will take me back to Remen. This one will take me to the Pax. This is the guy I'm going to use. But this one, this one here, she'll take us to Somerset. I'll I soon believe, be if heading I remember back. right. Yeah, she'll take us to Somerset. Okay, so let's talk to this guy again. I, uh, I want to go to Ebonheart. Okay, I like to travel let's within go. the Ebonheart. And I want to go to Stone Falls. All right, so I am in Davin's Watch in Stone Falls. And this is kind of where I want to be. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I have the Way Shrine, which we already knew I did. But if you do happen to go to somewhere, Find the Way Shrine, get to it, and activate it. Okay, so the first place I'm going to go is I'm going to the Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild. Very important, uh, the Fighters Guild. Uh, the Mages Guild is important, and I'll show you why here in just a second, in our skill line. Okay, so we're going to move over to the Mages, or the oh. first guild. Which one was it? Let's go. Fighters Guild is here first, so we'll go there. All right, so we're running up the stairs here. It's on my left here. All right, and on my map, how I'm doing that is like you heard before, I select, I use the select button or the, or the two little windows button. And then I go over the top of the area where I wanna go. And then I hit my right stick down and it highlights it on the map. So we're here. So I want to find the hall steward. Mm. I want to talk to the hall steward. Three keep you traveler. Okay. The the good, He's going to let me join Smart then the fighter's the guild. Family. Okay. And that's actually quite important because the fighter's guild levels up by fighting. Okay. So it gave me a new thing here. Okay. The fighter's guild also gives us intimidating presence. Okay, which allows us to intimidate NPCs in conversations. Um, what this does is, once we get a skill point in this, 
when we're in a conversation with an NPC, sometimes you can use that, which will make it much easier to finish the quest. Okay, the next person we're gonna talk to is this one here. Okay, we wanna start crafting as soon as possible. The reason is the crafting skill line takes forever to level up. It'll take you a very, very long time. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and level up. Okay, I'm ready for certification. Let me know if you have some time. Okay, so we're going to do blacksmithing. Okay, so now I need to go search for iron ore. Very, very simple. Up here on the right-hand side of my screen, you can see blacksmith certification require iron ore. Okay, now if I hit my two-windowed button, it'll tell me the area where I need to go. Uh, let's see, where is it exactly? Zoom out a little bit. Okay, <coughs> there it is. So I need to get right out here and pick up the iron ore. Now, if you are a new player or a returning player, if you just wait till level 10, you can sometimes skip the certification process. But since we're dealing with new players also, I'm going to go through the whole thing. It takes just a couple minutes. All right, so there's my iron ore. Now, it's very easy to see right now because they have those on there. Oh, got a spider already. Take him out. Okay, good, he's done. Put your mouse over him, select it. Oh, we got a spider egg, awesome. It's good thing in crafting. Okay, so we're gonna get this iron ore here. All right, so now we've got it all here. So we're gonna run back to the lady. Okay, she's in a different place now. So we'll talk to her. Okay, so now I need to craft a dagger. Okay, from the uh, skill line here, or from the skill. So I'm gonna go into creation, go over to the dagger. Okay, we have weapons. And if I hit my right shoulder button, it gives me apparel, but we're creating a dagger here. Okay, since I have the ingots already, I collected them. Now, due to the fact that I don't have any of these skill lines learned, I can't use those. I have to find the skill line that I, or um, the style that I am. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going over, there we are. I'm an Imperial. All right, so now I'm ready to craft. So once I select the items that I need, okay, we have no traits because we haven't learned how to do any traits yet. Okay, so when you're crafting like this, you don't need to use tra uh, traits at all. Okay, there's no reason to use them. All right, so we're just gonna craft one. All right, now we've crafted it. We talk to her again. Okay, and now we're going to deconstruct, okay? Deconstruction is probably the fastest way to level up the skill line. The more things you can de deconstruct, the more that you do. So you come over here, you look at it, go under deconstruct, select the item that you have right here. This is the iron knife. You can see I created it. I'm going to select it by hitting A, and then I'm X for deconstruct. All right, there we go. We'll talk to her again. Okay, so now that we've created that, now you can go ahead and do the other ones here. Okay, do these, finish them up, do, you'll do the exact same thing, and then you're ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one here, and I will do those here in just a moment. So I just leveled up, so that's good. I'll do those on my own time, so you, so you don't have to keep watching them. Uh, that's Stuga. You'll see her in all the major cities. She gets kind of annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna hold down my start button and it gives me stuff here that I can use. Okay, so I have to choose one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and choose, since I'm a stamina based character, I'm gonna go ahead and pick, pick the guards, claim my rewards. Okay, hit continue. I'm gonna put stamina in for me. Okay, and I also got a point. Now, I got two-handed here because I'm carrying a two-handed weapon, 
because that's what you originally start out with. But I'm not going to put anything in those skill points because I really don't want... Uh, I'm not going to use a two-handed weapon at this time. I already know what my character is going to be, so I'm not going to put anything in there. So I can put one in Intimidating Presence right now if I want, but due to the fact that I'm not going to be doing any uh, questing at the moment, I'm just going to go ahead and hold on to the skill point just for a moment because in all of these I've already put in my top bar. Now if I do put another one, if I do have, if I do put Searing Strike or Dark Talons or Molten Weapons in that, it'll help me level up the skill line even faster. But I'm not going to do that right now because I have other skills I want to put in there. So now we're going to go over to the Mage's Guild. Okay, this is a Mage's Guild here. So on your map, it looks like the little cross thing. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing over there. So let's run there. Now just completing the quests on these, you are going to level up. Uh, it is experience. So you do start leveling up uh, doing these Mage's Guild things here and Fighter's Guild. All right, so we are almost to the Mage's Guild. Okay, we need to find the Magistrate. Is that a book? It's a book. Always collect them, especially the blue ones. I never knew oh, that about Okay, so we're gonna talk to her. Yes, of course. Okay, so we're going to get the Mage's Guild. Excellent. Well All right, so now we got the Mage's Guild skill line. Okay, so that's going to give me another one. That's going to give me Persuasive Will. This, again, is one of those that will help you in when you're questing. It'll show up as an option. There you are. Now, the other person we need to talk up. to... No, not Abner Thorne. This guy here. Okay, Daniel Taleno. There is much more I can teach you. Okay, provisioning, enchanting, and alchemy. This is where you learn those skills. Okay, so I want to be a provisioner. Okay. Where can I find the recipes? So he's going to tell you where I can find the recipes. But he's, he's got it in a trunk here for me. But where do I find recipes in the very beginning of the game? All right, so we're going to go under uh, inventory. Sorry, I will come back to that. Supplies, okay. I'm going to select it now. I'm going to use it. And now I just learned how to make roast pig. All right, so now while we're in here, before we go find where we can find recipes, I'm going to do the Caravan or Strong Box. And this gives me some items that I can use. Okay, now there are things in here that are important, like these, Lake Guards. All of them are actually important. But I'm going to tell you why they're important. Okay, the Caravan or Lake Guards, they're training. These are very, very important. If you see down there, it gives me 668 maximum stamina, training. Okay, what that does is that increases experience gained from kills by 7%. Okay, that is important because this will help me level up faster. So I'm going to go ahead and equip these. Now, if you want to make it work for you in the long run, we will take and research these here in a couple minutes, and I will show you how to do that. But first, what we need to do is we need to find a place right here. We have this place here, uh, the Watch House. Okay, it's the restaurant sort of pub bar thing. Okay, inside of there is where you can find recipes. So if I come over here, now remember the recipes are quite expensive when you're first starting out. Okay, which one was it? It's the one right here on my right food recipes. Now these aren't the good recipes, but they're good enough for when you start. Okay, so we need to find whoever is the thing. That's the innkeeper. Okay, there's the chef. Okay, the chef will give us food recipes right here. Okay, and you can buy food directly from him. Now, considering we have no cash, we really can't do much, but he'll, he can sell us these recipes right here. So we may need those later on. There's our basic provisioning guide, and there should be another one, a brewer. Always get the books. Don't, oh, okay, sorry. We were supposed to come here for the quest anyways. Okay. Go to a cooking pot. 
Okay, I didn't have to go hunt because I already had them in my bag. But you would have to go hunt and find a pig and kill it. Sorry, I can't show you that. But I come over here. Now that I have it, I come over here to the fire. Okay, there's a cooking fire, usually in every single one of these. It could be in the crafting area also. Because uh, over here is the crafting area. But it could be in the crafting area also. But you always have one in these restaurants. So now we're going to do the roast pig. We're going to craft it. Okay, we're going to talk to him again. All right, there we go. And now we can do the other certifications. Okay, so complete those. And they're all pretty much the same. We also got something. He just gave us something here. Supplies, cooking supplies. So we got roast corn and clarified Sierra wine. So we're going to take all of those and we're going to learn them. Just select them and we learn them. And now I'll finish crafting and I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe.